Hi everyone. Welcome to Community Helper Storytime. We will be joined this week by our friends at Fire Company number three. Can't wait to see them. All right. We are ready for you. All right, good morning, everybody. My name is Firefighter Chris. I have Firefighter Kenny with me here. He's holding the camera and we're gonna read a story. And then we're gonna take a look at our ladder truck that we have here that I'm sitting on the front of. And we'll talk for a second about smoke detectors too, right? Very important that we know about smoke detectors, all right? So we'll get to that after. Um, I hope everyone's enjoying this beautiful day. We're, we're inside so you can hear us, uh, but it's really nice outside. So hopefully you get to go outside at some point today. Uh, so let's start with our story. It's called I'm Brave, all right? And it's by Kate and Jim McMullen. Okay, so hopefully everybody can see. If, if you can't see, let us know, okay? All right. What do you call a big red fire engine with a siren? Ew. And a horn, honk, honk, a tank full of water, slush, slosh, and a whole lot of, whole lot of hose? Good looking, that's what. Check my wide chrome radiator, shiny as a mirror, and the water cannon sprouting from my head. I'm a toolbox too. Wanna see what I'm packing? Hydrant wrenches, spanner wrenches, duck bill lock breakers, rabbit tool door forcers, twin connectors, saws, hooks, crowbars, drills, axes. Can you match them? And we have all the tools here and we'll get to see a lot of these when we look at the truck after. We have most of these on this truck and we have all of these in this fire station. But you can see we have the ax here, we have a, a crowbar, we have a hook, a splitter for the hose, we have some wrenches and a saw for cutting things and a drill too. All right, so we'll get to see a lot of this when we look around the truck. And there's more, shovels, mauls, ropes, flashlights, halligan tools, squeegees, bolt cutters, chocks, fans, nozzles. Clang, clang, clang. So we have even more tools here. Fan, flashlights, the nozzle for the hose, the cutters, the rope, the shovel. This is called a halligan. It's a special kind of tool, does a lot of different things. And then we have chocks. Chocks we put under the wheels so the truck doesn't roll away. All right, I'll try to remember to point those out. We got a whole bunch of those. Someone saw smoke and called 911. Fire at the Pine Street Warehouse. Dispatchers sent the alarm. Clang, 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 clang. Getting ready to go. Firefighters, I got your vests, masks, air tanks. Let's roll. Phew. Blinkers, blink. Flashers, flash. Light bar, strobe it. Here we go. Transmitter, give me the green. Change the traffic light, honk, honk. Traffic, I'm talking to you. Over to the curb, I'm coming through. All the cars are pulling over and you can see the fire down here. You can see the smoke. That's how you know it's a big fire if you can see the smoke from far away. Here we are. Cars and trucks race away, but I drive right to the smoke and flames. That's my job. Come on, pumpers, ladder trucks too. We gotta fight, this, uh, fight that fire. You see the warehouse, everybody's driving away. Here come the fire trucks from all different directions. In position now, chocks under my wheels, hydrant wrench, open that valve, twin connector, double supply. Pump, give me pressure. Nozzles, get ready. I'm gonna spray the fire with the nozzles. There's all the smoke. Hoses discharge, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. All the water going out of the fire from the hydrant here. Looks like a huge fire. Fire keeps burning, we keep fighting. Tools, you're up. Rabbit, duckbill, snap the locks. Axes, mauls, break down the doors. Fans, pull out the smoke. See if the building's Locked, got to get in and then use the fan to suck the smoke out so that the firefighters can see to put the water on the fire. All right, so use all these tools to open the doors. 
Water cannon, ready, aim, fire. Whoosh. Flames, smoke, going, going, gone. We put that fire out. All right, back to the station. Firefighters squeegee my hoses, hang them up to dry, pack me with fresh ones, put the tools away, soak me and scrub me, polish up my chrome. This fire engine's shiny and clean. Now it's shut eye time at the firehouse. So every time you come back from a fire, you gotta put all the tools back, clean the hose, put new hose if it's all wet, get ready for the next call. Always gotta be ready because at any time there could be another fire. So they got them all cleaned up and put everything back before anybody can rest. What do you call a big red engine with a siren and a horn honk honk who drives through smoke and drives through heat straight to a blazing fire? What do you think we're going to call them? Any guesses? Brave, that's what, and good looking. Right, he thinks he's pretty handsome. That's pretty funny. All right, so that's the end. So that was a, a quick story about a fire engine, right? So now we're gonna um, talk about a smoke detector quick and then we're gonna look at our ladder truck, which is right above me here. All right, we'll take a little tour of that. Now, does anyone know anything about a smoke detector? Anybody know what it sounds like? Is, is it loud? Everybody's probably muted, right? So this is, this is a loud smoke detector, right? And what this does, you have this in your houses, I hope, right? Everybody should have these in their houses, in bedrooms and hallways, okay? On every floor of your house. And what this does is it listens and it senses for smoke, right? So that if there were ever a, a fire in your house or if maybe if mom or dad burned dinner accidentally, right? The smoke detector would beep, all right? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna push the button to make it beep now. All right, and you're gonna hear a loud beep. You hear that? So when you hear that, does anybody know what you're supposed to do? Has anybody learned what you're supposed to do when you hear that beeping at home? What you do, right? Mom and dad and the rest of your family, you wanna have a meeting place outside somewhere, outside your house, right? Maybe by a tree or swing set or the mailbox or something like that. You wanna have a meeting place. And when you hear the beeping, all right, whether it's during the day or at night, okay? You wanna to go to that meeting place. You wanna get out of your house, okay? Because what that could mean is that there's a fire. Sometimes it, it's a, a, you know, a false alarm. Maybe mom or dad burned some food or sometimes the shower can set these off, but you always wanna treat it like it's, like it's real, all right? Because you wanna be safe. You wanna get out of your house. So what we tell everybody to do is get low and go, okay? So you remember that, get low and go. So when you hear the beeping, Okay, especially if it's at night, if you're asleep in your bed, the beeping wakes you up. What you wanna do is get down on the floor, get out of your room and, and get yourself out of the house, okay, with your mom and dad, your brothers and sisters or whoever you live with, right? And go to that meeting place, okay? So you wanna get out of your house, that's go. Get low, get down on the floor, crawl your way out and then and go out to your meeting place. All right, and if you don't have this, you should practice this with your, with your family. All right, because you always want to have a plan for what to do. And, and your mom and dad or whoever you live with, they can help you with this. All right, but it's an important thing to remember. So when you go to your meeting place, then you can call the fire department. If you call 911, all right, or you go to a neighbor's house, whatever the plan is, and that's when you would say that there's a fire in your house. Okay, you don't want to stay in your house. You don't want to go back for anything. All right, even though sometimes, you know, we, we have pets or we have maybe some animals, some stuffed animals, favorite toy or anything like that. You just have to leave that. It's very important that you get out, okay? And then someone calls the fire department, all right? When you hear that beeping, okay? And also for all the moms and dads and everybody who's listening, grandparents, you know, caregivers, whoever's listening, we just had to change the clocks, right? So hopefully you all went through and changed your batteries. Now is a perfect time of year to test these, right? You can, you can do the test, which is what I was doing, or you can go through and actually just change the batteries, which is a better idea to make sure that everything's working. All right, and you should have these on every floor of your home and in every bedroom, all right? Now, that's something you can practice with your families, all right? Some good thing to do when the weather's nice, you can do a little practice. Maybe, maybe someone can help push the button, you hear the, the noise and you know to crawl out, right? To get out of your house and go to your meeting spot so that you can always be safe, okay? And then the fire truck will come and the firefighters can figure out 
again, whether or not um, there's a real emergency or maybe it's just some smoke from cooking, right? And then everything gets taken care of, okay? But very important to remember that, that when you hear that noise, that's what you should do, all right? And when you get a little bigger, um, you can learn your addresses. Maybe some of you know this, I, I, can't, I can't see the group, but you can learn your address, right? And you can learn what to say. You know, in the book, they said there's the dispatcher. That's who tells the fire trucks where to go. You can learn what to tell that person when you call, if you're big enough to call, all right? If you're, if you're little, mom and dad can help you with that, all right? But a good thing to, to learn uh, where you live and to have a plan for something like that, okay? Now, I think we'll take a look at our ladder truck here and we're gonna see a lot of the tools that were in this book. So I'll try to remember to point some of them out, okay? So we'll take a little walk around. We're indoors, it's a little squished, so we'll try to get everybody a good view, but we'll, we'll uh, go from compartment to compartment and we'll look at the ladder too. All right, everybody ready? All right, here we go. So we're gonna start up front here. We got, you probably saw the bell where I was sitting, but then we also have our siren right here, right? When there's an emergency, we're in a big rush. We want everybody to pull over, pull to the side of the road, just like in the book, let the fire truck through, all right? So we got our big loud siren, all right? I won't turn it on in here because it would, uh, it would give everybody a headache, but it's very loud. So we come over here and maybe some of you remember from a couple weeks ago, if you saw the first thing they showed, maybe you wanna come by me, was where the driver sits, right? Whoever's gonna drive our ladder truck, which is a giant, giant truck, right? This is where they sit. Look at all the buttons and controls. It's a little dark, but you can see all the buttons and controls that they have. They can get the ladder ready. They can turn on the flashing lights. They can start the truck, everything from this seat, all right? And then if we come back here, this is where the firefighters sit. So we've got all of our tools in the back here and we've got our air packs. If you remember from a couple of weeks, air pack, backpack for fires. Right, it has air in it that we can take into a fire with us so we can breathe the air in a building that's on fire, right? If there's lots of smoke, there's no air, we bring the air with us, we put on a mask. And hopefully some of you saw a couple of weeks ago when we put on all of our gear and the air packs, we look a little different, right? You maybe look a little scary because it's hard to tell that it's a person, but when you saw firefighter Nick put on all his gear and then he put one of the air packs he took it all off he was still the same firefighter nick underneath right so he said it then but it's it's a good thing to remember we may look a little different but we're not scary we're just regular people right we just put on specific gear to help us do our jobs so you don't ever want to be scared if you see a firefighter dressed like that they're coming to help you all right you can go to them you don't need to worry you don't need to be scared even though they look different and they sound a little different too from the air all right but you don't need to be afraid of them okay um, we also have radios in here. We have flashlights. We have things that we grab to bring into a fire with us. All right. It's all ready to go so we can grab it and just take it with us. We get right off the truck with our equipment. All right. Now here, we've got a big cabinet. All right. And this has all kinds of tools. It's got some really big tools. Remember in the book, they said they got the fan to suck the smoke out of the building, right? So that the firefighters can see and anyone who's inside can see. We got a giant fan right here. It's even got wheels on it. That's how big it is. It's very powerful and it'll suck all the smoke right out. All right. We've got lights so we can see. We've got cords, right? So that we can turn on the lights, small fans. We have extinguishers, right? Some of these have a little bit of water. If it's a small fire, maybe we can put out the fire with just a small extinguisher. We pull it and we take it in with us to the building. All right. And then we've got some of the tools here, the cutters, the axes, the halligan, all kinds of things that we might need. And here, we're gonna pull this out. All right, we've actually got a sliding rack here with some bigger tools on it. All right, we've got hooks. We've got another halligan. This is a, a tool we can pry things with. We can make holes, does all kinds of different things, right? They talked about that in the book. They said the halligan tool, that's what this is. All right, slide this back in. So all these tools in just one compartment. We have a lot of equipment on this. So. All right. That's cool. 
actually, while, while we're walking, if you look up, you can see the ladder is above us. It's a super tall ladder. We'll talk about that at the back, but it goes the whole length of the truck. It's super big. And then on the side here, we got some smaller ladders, right? We've got a whole bunch on the side of the truck that we can pull off if we need them, all right? There's ones for going on roofs. There's ones for going to windows. And then this one is really tall. This takes a lot of people to put up. It's actually kind of heavy, but it can help us reach up really tall. It's not as tall as the big ladder, but still really tall. All right. Now let's see here. Here, we talked about, right, with the backpacks. These are extra bottles for our air packs. Okay, so if we're wearing the backpack and use up the air, right, if we still need to fight the fire, we still need to go back into the building, we can come out, we do teamwork. Somebody will help us change our bottle in our air pack, and then we can go back into the building so we have extra ones, all right? All right, let's keep moving down. So up here, we got a little ladder. This truck is so big, I don't know if you can see it. We actually use a ladder to climb onto the truck. So we got a nice little one that we can climb up if we need to. All right. Got some cords in here if we need to turn on our lights so that we can see if we're at a fire and we need to put up some lights to be able to see, we can plug them right into our truck and they'll us. Hopefully you can still hear me. The radio is talking a little bit. So we got some extra air packs here, right? Our backpacks with our masks. Got some extra ones. If we need to come up, we can grab them. And we can take them into a building with us. All right, and here, we've got some tools that we need to flow water, all right? In the book, they hook the hydrant up to the truck and they pull the water out of the hydrant and they fought the fire with the water from the hydrant. Now, this truck's a little funny. This truck doesn't actually have any water on it, right? It's got the big ladder, but it doesn't have any water on it. The other trucks at our firehouse have water. This one has a lot of water. It says tanker on the back, all right? And then the engine over there also has water. The ladder truck's job is to get uh, uh, the ladder set up. And then the water would come from other fire trucks, right? So we have tools here to help us do that, okay? But it's kind of silly, a fire truck would have the equipment set it up so we pump when we need to, all right? Now this is the back, all right? You can see up there is where we stand when we're gonna run the ladder, all right? There's the controls, there's a little black box up there with a handle. That's the person who helps set up the ladder. And then this is the back of the ladder that we can see here. We would climb up and then climb up the ladder if we needed to go up, all right? Now, can anybody think of what we might do with the ladder? Like, why would we need a big ladder? We have the little ones, but what could we do with a big ladder, right? Maybe if there was a really big fire, we could put it up above the fire and spray water down from the other trucks on the fire, right? Or if we need to rescue somebody, we can rescue someone with the ladder, right? Or if we need to get on a roof, okay? Now, in here, we do have a little bit of hose, right? And this is what we would use. There's no water on the truck, but this is what we would use to get water up and spray it down on the fire. We would hook this hose to another fire truck and spray the water straight through, all right? And then we have some of the wrenches here that they talked about in the book. The wrenches that you would use to hook up to get water out of a hydrant. Right? Pull them right off of here and we can open the hydrant, okay? And then connect the hose right here. When we set up the ladder, we always wanna be safe. This truck is designed to be safe when we set up the ladder. So it doesn't tip, it just stays up, right? All of our controls are in here. Okay, I don't know how well you can see those, but we got levers and dials and knobs, all kinds of things to set it up. And we always do teamwork, right? It takes two people, both sides, to set it up very carefully. We work together. Everybody, we practice lots of times how to set it up so that when we do it in an emergency, everybody knows what to do. It's getting a little loud because we're actually pulling one of the fire trucks out. We got some more ladders over here. 
All right, this is a, another large ladder. And we got another small one. Lots of ladders on this truck. All right. Here, got more tools. We got shovels, like we talked about in the book. We got some rope, brooms, all the tools that we would need. Over here, we've got some of the coats and the boots. They're in bags, but they're coats and boots that we would need to get ready to go into a fire. Everybody's got their gear. You have to be safe, right? You put on your gear before you go into the, the building. Got some there. And over here, got lots and lots of rope. Okay? It's a big, huge, tall ladder. So if we're going to help somebody with the ladder, it's always good to have rope, right? So that way that person can be safe. We do them. A lot of rope. All right. Now, this is the other side of that cabinet that we saw before with the big slide in the middle. All right. So, I'm not going to pull that part out again, but you can look here. We've got saws, like they said in the book. Right. That's if we need to cut a hole in something, maybe a roof or a wall. We've got all the equipment that goes with it, the gas to help run the saws. And then we've got some tools up on the side here. We've got more halligans, we've got axes, we have a bucket here. That if somebody had a fire in their chimney, right, in the fireplace, if there's a fire, sometimes it can go up the chimney. Right? We could come help put that out. We can use this bucket, right? To especially uh, uh, get up on the roof and help put out that fire. Okay, so we got all kinds of tools in here. And then we got some hooks and some hammers too. Right? Okay. So here, now we're on the other side of the cab. So we've seen the inside here, but this is where and the officer is going to be, whoever's in charge, right? They're going to tell the driver where to go. They're going to tell them where to park the truck, how to set it up, all that stuff, right? All part of teamwork, but this is where the person who's in charge would sit, okay? And you can see a computer here that tells us where the street is. Maybe it'll tell us where the hydrants are too, so that we know when we're going to a fire call, What's the best way to set up and, and uh, make sure everybody's safe, right? And put the fire out as, as best we can, okay? And we've got all of our maps in here, our books that tell us where to go, all right? Wherever we need to go in town. This is the only ladder truck in town. So this truck goes all over, right? No matter where all of you live in town, it goes all over, right? So we're handing the camera off for one second here. I'm going to try to show you the, the ladder. There's our bucket on the ladder, all right? So that's where people would go if we're gonna spray water down, right? That'll go all the way up at the top of the ladder. Or if we're gonna to try to rescue somebody, that's the bucket they would climb into. Try to get a good angle here. All right, you can see the, remember the book talked about a water cannon. There's a, a water cannon sort of on the edge of the bucket there, all right? That's the same thing, all right? We can flow the water straight through there and spray it down on the fire. All right, so this ladder, is super all the way up a big building. We don't have a lot of big buildings in town, but again, if it was a big fire, we could put the ladder up and spray the water down in the fire and it helps us put the fire out, right? If it were a big fire, okay? I think we sort of covered, you see the flashing lights up there too. I didn't point those out, right? Those are the flashing lights, just like in the book. When he says, we're gonna turn the flashing lights on in the strobes, those are all the lights that we have on the front. All right, it tells everybody to get out of the way, all right? So that's the tour of our ladder truck. All right, hopefully you all got a good view. So does anybody have any questions that they might want to ask? We can try to answer them. Okay, I'm going to stop the recording now and we could start the questions and answers.